Why has Will Smith completely lost it? Stick around. We gonna bat iron on. Listen guys, I know a lot of y'all have seen everything by now. And if you hadn't, you must be living under a rock or something. But anyway, at the Oscars, Chris Rock, who is a comedian, says something about Jada and her hair. To make a long story short, short story long. The audience kind of halfway laugh. Jada's not laughing. Will kind of starts giggling. He takes a glimpse over there out the corner of his eye at Jada. Notice she's not laughing. He gets up out of his seat, walk on stage, slap Chris Rock, walks back to his seat, tells uh, Chris Rock, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. Simple as that. Now, guys, let me tell you something. This seems like to be Will's lowest point. Seems like he's he's at the end. I could just feel it. You could just see it in his face. That all this pain, all this embarrassment, all this ridicule had just instant built up and it then flowed over. Instant exploded. I, I, I said this a long time ago. Whenever Will found out that Jada had committed infidelity, he should have left her then. And I always say that everybody that I have talked to in their 60s and 70s, older guys, that's been, had, that stayed with a woman after she committed infidelity, they always say the same exact thing. I should have left a long time ago. A long time ago. This is not about what Chris said to Jada. No, Jada didn't like it. No, the audience didn't particularly like it. Some people were laughing, but it wasn't no over, like, yeah. But it, you could tell it was a half-hearted laugh. Some people wasn't really taking it that, that particular joke funny. But it's like Will looked at Jada, and Jada kind of had that look on her face, and that was the button that pressed. That's the button that Jada pressed in order to get Will to go over the top. Because it seems to me that... Will Smith is just not Jada's, uh, uh, she, she's not the man for Jada. That's not the man she want to be with. That's not the type of man she want to be with. She's already said it in so many ways. Getting on, on television and reading old poems from Tupac and, and, and stuff like that. Then, uh, uh, having infidelity with, uh, with, with this, this this rapper, what his name? Uh, Y'all know what the guy name is. But anyway, uh, 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 a rapper. Uh, that, that's who she had uh, infidelity with. But I remember back in the day, Will Smith and Jada was the standard of what a marriage is supposed to be. They was the standard. Everybody would run around talking about we want to be like Jada and Will. But as you can see, guys, as time moves on, as time moves on, they've been married forever, for years, man. And this is how it ends. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's ended, but this is what this is what it's uh at, at this point. I, I don't see how this marriage is uh is conducive. I don't see how it's uh it, it, it's it's any happiness. I mean, allegedly. She say Will might have had uh, relations with other women, uh, but it's 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 to the point where I think that it's not even good for the kids. It's not even good for the kids. But all that pain Will done had building up inside of him until it just overflowed to the point where he got to go check another guy about his wife. He got to go check the guy a comedian on stage doing his job. And Jada is a public figure. 
So whatever that comedian say, she supposed to laugh it off. He supposed to laugh it off. Just like anybody else. A comedian talk about everybody, man. You come out there looking wrong, come out there uh, dressed wrong, they going to get you. They going to get you. You better just hope they don't look in your direction because they going to get you. That's just how it is. That's what comedians do. But it's something that when, 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 when Jada wasn't laughing, it's something that triggered Will Smith. It's something that triggered him. And I know that it was all that pain. Well, I ain't gonna say I know. I have a feeling that it was all that pain. He's been he's been drugged through the mud on social media, through memes, a topic of everybody conversation. She's been having all kind of red table talk about the guy at at every turn. Uh, her infidelity has been mentioned millions of times. I think there was a petition out online. People were like, man, we tired of y'all interviewing him because we don't want to hear nothing about Jaden Will. But I think it just overflowed, man. I think he just couldn't take it no more. I think he just he just lost it in front of a national, international audience, man. Everybody, man. I felt so bad for that dude. I mean, for Chris Rock, let me tell you something, man. Chris, you you, you tripping, bro. Because anytime somebody would have came up there on stage, man, I don't care who they is. I might have not. I, hey. He would have whooped me or I would have whooped him. But I tell you one thing would have would, happened for sure. I would have took a chunk out of his ass. I would have took a chunk out of his ass. He might have got me. But I promise you, I would have took a chunk out of his ass. One way or another, hell, if I had to, if I had to reach up there and bite him or something, I would have did something. Man, even if when he turned around and walked out the stage, even if I would have had to catch him with a sucker punch or catch him from the blind side, whatever I did, man, I ain't going to let you get away with a slap. Spitting on somebody and slapping somebody is some of the most disrespectful. It's two of the disrespectful or most do disrespectful things that you can do to somebody. So, Chris, man, I don't know, bro. That's a bad example. You don't let no man come up there and slap you, man. When that dude come to me, man, when he start walking toward me, I put my hands up. Look, man, it, hey, everything all right, man. I ain't mean it like that, man. I'm just joking. If he'd have kept coming, cause, hey, I'm going to have to protect myself, bro. I got to defend myself. I got to defend myself. And that's what he should have did, man. But back to Will, man, it, it just seemed like, man, all that stuff just boiled over and he couldn't take it no more. He just lost control. It's like it just triggered him. It's like, uh, it, it's, it's almost like that's what happened in the hood all the time, man. Men go through problems with their woman and then they take it out on other men because they can't take it out on that woman. You know you ain't finna put your hands on that woman because they gonna throw your ass in jail for a long time. Wreck quick. They gonna, they, oh, no, nah, you ain't finna, they, they, gonna, they gonna take care of you on that. So they can't, they, we feel helpless, man. And so that's why I made this channel, man, for guys that just don't feel no way out. Cause see, cause I'm gonna tell you right now, what Will is feeling, this is his feeling. He feel like he's stuck. It's too painful to leave. It's too painful to leave. And he just can't, and he just can't move on. So he's stuck. So he's stuck. He can't take, he can't, he can't, he can't, he can't make himself move on, but he can't leave. And I, I, hey, guys, I've been down that road. I've been down that road, but I made it out though. And he can make it out too, but it ain't gonna be overnight, man. But you can't stay right there and let that woman treat you like that. You can't stay right there, man. And next thing, it might be something else, man. A gun might be involved. Something might happen, man. It's like he got so much pain until he just can't let it go. And I think that's what happened last night. I really do. Anyway, guys, until next time, peace.